Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Let's pull quickly your cards to see what the energy you are working this week. Taurus, very interesting cards. Moth and Spider. You are slightly trapped, I would say. Um, it could be, you know, that you have been attracted to some sort of opportunity and now you feel that you are trapped into something very uh, confusing, something that you don't understand. Maybe your attention as well kind of became very um, narrowed. Um, you're working uh, relentlessly uh, on a particular piece of project, um, you are required a lot of attention, you are uh, pushed to the limits and you feel that you are burning out, you're burning your energy resources. I feel that whomever you are dealing, uh, they really don't appreciate, you know, the effort that you are putting in. So they kind of, you know, giving more and more and more, but I think you obviously first time when you um, encountered this energy, you were very excited, shining, um, you know, uh, and vibrating a, a seriously strong energy. However, this is kind of now the time where you see that you have given way too much and it's time to step back. Uh, it's time to have a conversation and this is the energy really by by the animal spirit let's clarify with the tarot weight uh, cards message for Taurus collective message energy wise so Five of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Queen of Swords, and Five of, no, Queen of Pentacles also. So what does it mean? It means that in the past you had, you know, to make a decision, probably walk from something that wasn't working. And that could mean as well walking away from a very, um, you know, a happy family, uh, I would say image, uh, a relationship that was perceived very, very much like a, you know, a successful, very happy uh, encounter. You have been projecting that image towards all the people. And uh, now you are in a position, you know, you walked away from something that wasn't working. It could be as well, not necessarily a home. It could be as well, organization, institution. Um, maybe it's also a time for you to see what is no longer working in the current, in the present um, situation uh, with your organization, with your family, something that you have invested way too much. And this is, you know, and financially, and it could be your inner sources, you know, like energy time that you are giving, something that you need, you know, to walk away because something is no longer working. Now we are having the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. There is a conversation between these two queens. Um, and these two, two queens are basically giving exchange of something. Queen of Pentacles giving something, you know, financial, it's an offer. And yourself, you're giving, you know, your skills, your knowledge, you're communicating. And it could be, you know, really an indication for Taurus, some of you, that there will be a new contract. Um, it could also mean that two very powerful individuals who are in authority speaking about something that doesn't really work in an organization. So it could be, you know, that uh, you are the person in charge for i would say the bigger picture of an organization you know um how much profits you are making it could be your own business and you are basically saying certain things doesn't work and i need to cut the ties 
certain things need to break because I just don't see any returns coming back. So let's see how we can clarify this message further with our weight. And yeah, what, what else we can get? Taurus, Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, the Empress, and Two of uh, Cups. Beautiful energy, really, really beautiful. So from the very, very dark waters, you are moving into something more promising, something, you know, that you basically going to sign a contract. Um, it will be very beneficial for you, for the organization, for the family. You having Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, the Empress, Major Arcana, being happy in your wealth. Obviously, Taurus, your season is coming and you're signing a contract. A contract that is two mutual uh, parties happy to, you know, um, correct things, amend things that didn't work and finally they agreeing on terms and conditions. So it's a very lucrative very i would say luxurious uh, offer here um that will benefit you in the long run and i see this for several seasons uh, benefits you know you are reaping benefits out of this deal uh you know having the conversation that is leading you to sign something bigger something greater now i want just to pull a couple of fairy cards to see if there is anything to do with your close partnerships uh, romantic uh, partnerships let's have a look taurus The Lady of Leprechauns, the Hidden One, and the Magician. So magic is happening in front of your eyes. Um, however, you have to be still very, you know, cautious how you are talking with these people. That you are not stripping over, you know, your own words. Also, don't rush. You know, things that are not clear, you need to definitely hundred percent clarify making sure that all answers are you know very clear that you are signing you know this dotted line only on the things that you understand you know things that looks for you uh, a little bit wonky um not very clear then you need you know to consult probably with i would say legal institutions uh lawyers um getting advice you know from financial you know advisor but this is something you know that you need to keep in mind if something is unclear if it is an offer that you say it's too good to be true you need to double check you know everything everything needs to be checked and yeah make sure you know that you are not tripping over um or, you know, something, you know, that you are not clear, but you rushed, you know, to get into this um, a union, into this agreement. This is very much, you know, speaking about uh, work. Um, yeah, so you see, we get the soul shrinker and we get the fairy of the future. So there is definitely somewhere in this clause, something that might really... Um, not playing you know for your best interest so you have to really check because in the future there will be a, a biting point you might you know burn yourself so triple check that everything is clear that you are not you know signing something that you buy yourself for years of painful process um you know that leads you uh, suffering in the future because the future is a very promising it's a full of fruits and full of you know like i said uh financial benefit but just make sure that you're not tripping over or of something that you are not quite clear that's the matches for you taurus um thank you for all your likes share subscribes and i'll see you next week